One of my biggest questions I have for San Francisco headed into the season is what they're going to do at the defensive tackle spot. They lost Eric Armstead, but they did add an absolute unit of a defensive tackle during this undrafted free agency period in Evan Anderson. He comes in at 6 foot, weighing 320 pounds. But even though he eats up a lot of space on the football field, don't get it twisted, he's not slow in any stretch of the imagination. Often, he's one of the first players off the ball. And San Francisco loves a player like this. Chris Kisarek even has a metric at GTFO, and I imagine Anderson is pretty high up there for his weight. This first step really stands out on the pass rush moves, where you can see him even beating defensive ends at times. He also has extremely violent hands, and eats up a ton of space in running lanes, and basically, it's hard for anyone to move him out of the lane. So has Chris Kisarek found another still of a defensive lineman in Evan Anderson? we're about to find out. We were first introduced to Evan Anderson in Jones High School in Orlando, Florida where he played guard as well as defensive tackle. What I really loved on his high school film was his ability to get in the backfield and when blockers tried to block him, well good luck you're just not going to move his body size. He also has pretty underrated athleticism even though he ran his 40 yard dash in 5.3 seconds he gets off the ball much quicker. Coming out of high school he had offers from Florida Atlantic, FIU, Kent State, Massachusetts, and Samford. Ultimately, he did decide FAU. In 2020 as a freshman, he played in 8 games, had 15 tackles, and he pressured the quarterback 7 times including 4 quarterback hurries, 1 quarterback hit, and 2 sacks on this season. In 2021 as a sophomore, he saw his role expand, he had 27 tackles including 11 total pressures, 8 quarterback hurries, 2 quarterback hits, and 1 sack on the year. 2022 playing in 7 games, he recorded 19 tackles and 5 total pressures including 3 quarterback hurries one quarterback hit, and one sack. His most impressive year though had to be 2023 where he shined as a pass rush specialist. He played in 12 games, had 28 tackles, but the most impressive part, he had 16 total pressures which included 10 quarterback hurries, one quarterback hit, and 5 sacks on the season. And there's a lot to like about his game. Perhaps most notably is how big and powerful he is. So even when an offensive lineman is trying to drive him out of a running lane, more often than not, that offensive lineman's going to end up on his butt. But just because he comes in at 6 foot, weighing 320 pounds, doesn't mean he's not athletic. I see him time and time on tape, just blowing past less athletic guards. He also showed a great ability to anchor in the running game, even while being double teamed. And I love that for San Francisco, because I watch guys like Javon Kinlaw and other defensive line players just be driven back to the second level. But even though there are a lot of aspects of his game I absolutely love, there's a reason San Francisco was able to pick him up as an undrafted free agent. While there are a lot of times you see Anderson using his hands violently, he's pretty inconsistent using them, so there are times in which guards are able to get in his chest, really eliminating his pass rush moves and power. He also doesn't have the deepest tool set to rush the passer, but besides that, I'm pretty happy about this pick for San Francisco. Early on in his career, he could be an effective defensive lineman in goal line situations in which he eats up a ton of space and blockers, but going into his second or third year, who knows, Chris Kisarek could really develop him into one of the more deadly defensive tackles across the entire league. He's done it before. But ultimately, these are just some of my thoughts on San Francisco signing Evan Anderson as an undrafted free agent, and I'd like to hear your thoughts down below, and it would mean a ton if you liked and subscribe. And as always, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.